everyone, my name is Yolanda. I'm based in Brussels where I currently work as a full-time company accountant. I am a mother and today I would like to go over how I passed two AWS certifications in about six months without a tech background. So my cloud computing journey began on the 27th of November 2020 when I joined Cloud Careers, now known as We From Cloud which is a community-based approach aimed at training and helping individuals from Sub-Saharan Africa gain fundamental knowledge of cloud computing for free, irrespective of their current locations. So when I signed up for this program, I did with the belief that any knowledge is good knowledge and that any time you invest in acquiring knowledge is never wasted. So I just wanted to broaden my general knowledge by learning cloud computing and not actually sit and study to take certification exams. So when I joined the then ongoing study group of about eight members, I was onboarded by Tekla Mbunwe, who is our community lead. She updated me on all that the group had already covered. She gave me all the necessary study materials I needed to focus on to be able to catch up with the rest of the group. And then I was made to understand that the group was actually taking part in an ongoing cloud practitioner certification challenge and that everyone in the group was expected to take these certification exams by the 31st of December 2020. So when I saw the motivation in the group and I realized that the study language was English and this is a language I have a good mastery of. Bearing in mind that for the past 15 years, my work language and study language has been French and Dutch, which are foreign languages to me, I actually did not have any excuse not to be part of this group. So I became so passionate about cloud computing and I made up my mind to be part of it and to take the certification exams on time. So, but then there was an ongoing presentation schedule whereby members had been planned to take turns in carrying out research, preparing PowerPoint presentation and explaining cloud concepts to the rest of the group. And they worked on topics like compute in the cloud, networking, security, storage and databases, innovation and migration. And I did not get the chance to do any presentation since I had to catch up and my name was not in the planning. So what I did was I attended all of the morning sessions I listened attentively, asked lots of questions, and this actually helped me to quickly grasp the basics of cloud computing and a cross-section of the AWS cloud services. Apart from the morning sessions, we were encouraged to follow the AWS Power Hour on Twitch, which were six episodes animated by certified AWS instructors, John and Lane, and this part of the process did help me to master the five pillars of the AWS well-architected framework. And finally, to evaluate our exam readiness, the team worked on sets of high quality practice test exams from Udemy and Dojo. And I think we took a week working on these sets of practice exams. And when I felt I was ready, I took my exams on the 24th of December and I passed. So the team took a break and classes resumed on the 13th of January, 2021. And this time around, we were working on the AWS Solutions Architect Associate course. And just to mention here that besides this AWS certification program, we also had sessions on Terraform by Hashiko. And so group members were once more called upon to do presentations and each group member had the opportunity to present at least two topics. And here I can't overemphasize the importance of being part of a study group and be given such a wonderful opportunity, which is a challenge I understand, but I say it's wonderful because it does not only help you to build your presentation and communication skills, it helped me to master the EC2 instance and advanced networking, since these were the two topics that were assigned to me. We equally had situations whereby, after following the Udemy and Dojo courses, the video courses online, one or two group members are likely to understand something that you do not understand. 
And that is how some of us who were struggling in the area of networking benefited from some networking professionals amongst us who actually organized extra sessions on networking to help explain what IP addresses are, the differences between an IP version 4 and an IP version 6 address, the differences between a public IP address and a private IP address, the concept of subnetting, they explain to us the open system interconnection model, the OC model, their layers and their protocols. And you would also benefit from situations whereby a group member would use an analogy just to simplify a complex cloud concept. And this will not only help you grasp this concept, you will have to remember it for a very long time. So. This was the approach. We started in a group, we shared ideas, did presentations. But I would mention here also that the main focus for the Solutions Architect Associate course was to gain more hands-on experience. And so we were actually encouraged to do lots of labs. And that is how I took advantage of my AWS free tier accounts. I created an IAM admin account, set up a multi-factor authentication to protect my account, created IAM users, launched EC2 instances, created an S3 bucket, uploaded objects into the bucket, created an AWS organization, and I did try out lots of exciting labs based on a comprehensive study material by Adrian Fandrill, and this actually helped me to gain the necessary tech skills required for an AWS Solutions Architect role. And finally, to also help us prepare for the exams, we took practice tests from Udemy and Dojo, and that is how I passed my exams on the 19th of June, 2021. So I would like to sincerely thank the founder of WeFront Cloud, Mr. Banji Kango, for introducing me to cloud computing and for creating this platform where one can network and study with like-minded and motivated professionals from different parts of the world. And I would like to thank him also for his mentorship and how he really helped me to pass the certification exams. And to conclude, I would say that it's rather unfortunate that for most of us, learning ends when we finish high school or complete college. And that's the last time we learned anything. So guys, it's so wonderful that we now have access to a continuous learning platform at WeFront Cloud at a time when the demand for cloud computing skills are on the rise. So let's roll the cloud. Thank you very much.